Hi guys. Now let me be honest. When I first read that some PG-13 Barbie movie was coming out, I didn't think much of what I thought would be just another kid's film about a plastic doll. But seeing the flood of requests from you guys asking me to talk about it and do a video on it, that's when I realized that it must be something more. So I had to see it for myself. I wasn't totally surprised when I found out that the movie had crossed a billion dollars at the international box office because the obsession with Barbie hasn't died down since since its inception in like 1959. So here's what I thought about this movie. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that most of you who were asking me my opinion have already watched the movie. And if you did, then you probably noticed something. There's one thing it makes crystal clear to you from the first minute. It's not gonna be just another harmless children's movie. I feel like in this movie, Barbie is like an avatar for a social message and it very much wants the adults to lean in and listen. Right from the first scene, when the little girls throw away their baby dolls to play with the Barbie that can quote unquote, be so much more, the movie sets an empowered feminist tone for the rest of the plot. As I eventually found out, there's very little of the original Barbie left at the end of it. From her relationship with Ken to how the Barbie world works, the insistence on reading a feminist patriarchal narrative dilutes a critical balance between improvisation and originality. And that's what you see throughout the entire movie. For example, Ken is no longer really a love interest for Barbie as he originally was meant to be. He He's no longer a yin to her yang. In fact, like half of the movie, he's more like the antagonist fighting to bring patriarchy to the Barbie world. It basically winds up being like the Kins versus the Barbies. And this was super symbolic for me because we're currently fighting a similar battle in the real world with men versus women. The movie pits two groups against each other and any romance or cooperation between them is virtually non-existent. When Barbie leaves Barbie world and goes into the real world, there's a scene where her owner says that she no longer likes or wants her. The little girl then proceeds to attach her doll, the very label society often associates with Barbie. These include her being a symbol of capitalism and consumerism, her representation of hypersexualization and unachievable beauty standards, and even the provocative claim that she embodies fascist ideals. And then there's Ken, who upon entering the real world embodies and acts like the worst caricature of masculinity masculinity that a feminist could conjure up. He's arrogant, stupid, cocky, power hungry, and patriarchal. Now that I think about it, there's not one single admirable male character in the entire film, not even Ken himself. This dividing line between the characters leaves a bitter taste and it makes for a similar oppressor slash oppressed narrative we see in real life. The kind of patriarchy Ken sees upon entering the real world just made me wonder if that's what some women think a man's life is like. There's a scene where Ken asks for a job in the patriarchal real world and says he's qualified because he's a man. He basically told him that all he needs to do is hide it with the MBA degree. I think Barbie is another case of a movie that could have been so much more. Like, so don't get me wrong. It was extremely entertaining at times. The Barbie world was a visual masterpiece and the performances were solid. However, for me, a lot of the comedy fell flat as the movie took on an individualistic and antagonistic tone that I don't even think was needed. It lacked a major degree of warmth that is sure to be ruined when a victim narrative from the real world is magnified and imported into the Barbie world. But the way that women glorify this movie, I suppose that's just the appeal for the current generation of women. So with that being said, until the next video, I'll see you guys later.